Hey, what's up, everyone? Okay, so as always, um, I'm doing the automatic build uh, stasis one just for the quest uh, dungeon. The, today is the Castuck dungeon for Punctius, this guy here. And uh, I'm just gonna read the strategy in French and translate it. Uh, this one is also on Method Wakfu. So this boss has two phase 100% to 30% of his HP. Uh, this one is known pretty much for from a lot of people. I did know the strategy also, but I'm just there is a little more details here. So you have to hit every elements up to level 10 of his states. Uh, each element you hit him will give him buff until you reach the four, four buff being level 10, which will remove invincibility for two turn. On him, he will get it back on if he have more than 30% of his HP at the end of the two turn. And uh, phase two is 30% to zero. So when you go on under 30%, he will uh, get a state. He get two more movement points, 4000 HP, 200% damage, 150% resistance, uh, elemental resistance, and he give two movement points and uh, damage to his ally. So you better kill his uh, ally first and him at the end. And if you can burst 30 to 0 in one time, good thing. Here's Stasis 1, but I'm on the Mantic build, so my, my stuff is nothing crazy. Uh, well, obviously, you could if you want to do like me automatic build. I recommend you to at least since now we have 15 page do a build for each and then do like do the characteristic the spells yourself equipment put it to automatic build. Okay, right now I'm really automatic build on everything, but like you, instead of having automatic build here. Of this like being a mental mastery because you take automatic build you can actually place the points in stuff that will give you more because elemental mastery is five percent and everything else is eight percent so you rather have eight percent each level than five percent in every uh, everything so yeah because I'm lazy I rather have just less stats and just use automatic build for now but yeah if I was not lazy I could do that in this dungeon you can always go there and it, if you don't, you will have a in heat state, so it remove you stuff. I think you lose HP and stuff like that if you don't go in shadow once or once in a while. Uh, not much. Yeah, you just have to touch the shadow actually. Yeah, the sacrifice will not do much for now. I'm just gonna deal some damage and that will be it. Again, Oza is one of the strongest guy in this uh, in automatic build. He was right in shadow, as you can see. Oh, you get HP, uh, you heal HP as well when you get in the shadow. I think I'm gonna go with Stranva for now. I am at a level that I can apply the fire thing on these guys. So there we go. Hmm. So I'm just ignoring the bus for now. Yeah, not much I can do here. I could do some AOE, but that will not be that. If you play on higher stasis, of course you would you would not have to do like I do, but uh, like you would have to play better than me. I rather just have it simple. And single target area drop, you will be probably better than AOE right now. I don't know the damage of my Zeta on automatic build, so I'm not gonna risk the. Yeah.
Mm, that guy is really tanky. Yeah, let's kill them. Four seconds, so let's just, uh, whatever. I'm stabilized. That's one of the worst things for the sec here. Oh, I did not see this guy. Oh, wait, is is summoned? That's why. Yeah. Okay. These are summons. So, oh crap, I wanted to, uh... oh yeah, I have no sound by the way, I, I normally I watch videos during uh, my farming, that's why I don't have sound. So summons are dead. Let's go with this state on this guy here. So I'm gonna put it there and just uh, oh, it's one for uh, the summon. All right. So for the Fika, hmm, let's go hard damage. I don't think I have much of these. I should have go with three times the three action point, but whatever. All right, so let's finish the hard damage with him. Fire, water. So Xalar can do both, so you do this. Alright, so hair, four hair and seven fire. Wait, the fire did not work? Why is my panda so low though? weird fire and hair that's my barrel right oh yeah okay I cannot do anything you can say I really use my panda a lot So now no more invincibility. For two turn. Like, I could help my panda, but to be honest, it's not hard enough for me right now. 
I'm not gonna lose because of that, pretty sure. I'm just gonna burst him. There you go, so he just got his 4000 HP, it's not 2000, but whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I lost the uh, action point because I the the shadow thing. Three use per turn. Alright, so the boss will probably kill something. Like it's... Well, almost. He'll, he'll reach under 30% of his HP, so he'll, he cannot be invincible anymore. I think my summon is not at the right angle. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Oh, I have enough dodge, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's remove resistance. And there we go. So that's it for this dungeon. Again, you do the you remove a ten action point of every element on him. You lose, become invinc uh, remove invincibility for two turn, and under thirty percent HP, you get for oh yeah, it was four thousand. You get back four thousand HP, two hundred percent of damage to uh, movement point, etc. So that's it. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Bye.